a great adventure. We take you to the edge of the world, a journey of a lifetime, on a quest in search of the elusive creature known as the unicorn of the sea. It's the narwhal, an arctic leviathan, both rare and endangered. And what we discovered is a landscape vast and beautiful, but sometimes deadly, and one that is changing rapidly. So now ABC's Lindsay Davis and producer Alex Waterfield's journey to the far north. Just getting there was an adventure of its own. It's the middle of the night in the middle of nowhere in one of the most inhospitable places in the world. Aside from my guides, I'm all alone. The wind is punishing. And the only thing my iPhone is good for is taking video. This location is so low. Uh, we've had to take three planes, and now we're into our third hour of getting pulled by a snow hill, not another human being in sight. I can't see much through the fog. Certainly not the campsite, I've been assured, is out here somewhere. My three Inuit guides are nice, but they're not exactly inspiring confidence right now. What happened? Yeah, it broke. It's broken. We're now down to one snowmobile. We just left our backup behind on the ice. And if that wasn't bad enough... Are we lost? We lost. I, I think know. he's joking, but this does not bode well. We're deep inside the Arctic Circle on Baffin Island. It's bigger than California, but with only 11,000 inhabitants, it's not the kind of place you can stop to ask for directions. But this is the price of admission for a shot at seeing one of the most elusive creatures on the planet, the narwhal, the so-called unicorn of the ocean, with that single tusk that can be up to 10 feet long. It's the stuff of fantasy, and I, for one, need to see it to believe it. And sooner rather than later, the narwhal is said to be the most vulnerable species in the Arctic to climate change. And here, the stark reminders of global warming are all around us, like these big cracks in the ice, cracks that shouldn't be this wide this early in the summer. My mom would not be happy about this. The Arctic sea ice is literally disappearing beneath our feet, on track to be faster this year than any other on record. Oh! The effects of the rising temperatures up here are dramatic. Just a few hundred miles away from us, wow. these tourists had a narrow escape when an ice wave caused by a falling glacier almost capsized their boat. Despite all the obstacles and dangers this far north, we press on, and suddenly I notice some orange domes on the horizon. It's our campsite. We made it. Welcome to the edge of the world, right? right? So this is our Arctic base camp. Uh, I'm greeted by Tom uh, Lenartz, a team leader for uh, Arctic Iceberg. Kingdom Polar Expeditions. Uh, because everything you see here had to be brought here. The only uh, tour operator that offers land-based trips this far north. Lesson number one for new arrivals, know what's beneath your feet. We're sitting on about four feet of sea ice with about a thousand feet of water below us. Uh, it appears like it's, it's firm, but it is actually going up and down with the tides as well. But how do you know that it's safe? I mean, I can, you can feel jump. pretty good oh, about yeah. jumping around and I'm not going to end up in the thousand feet of water. No, no, you won't. Right there, the dark hole there, that's yeah, the ocean. That's the ocean. That's all that's separating us. That's it. Don't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we head to the edge where the sea ice meets the open water one of the richest and most diverse ecosystems on the planet. I never get sick of it. Planet of six billion people, and we're one of the 20 people that are here at the Flow Edge right now watching this. And so we feel privileged every time we're coming here. But as the ice continues to disappear, so too will this fragile ecosystem, taking the narwhal with it. It's cold. It's definitely wet. We got the rain coming down and it sleets. But we're going to see some narwhals and that makes everything okay. Eric Coombs is a budding wildlife photographer, and he's on a mission. If we can get those narwhals shooting up their big, long ivory tusk, that's the pinnacle moment uh, of seeing a narwhal. You gotta hear what's happening in the ocean. You're really but before you see them, you can often hear them, which is why these headphones attached to a nifty underwater microphone come in handy. This cacophony of sound right here might as well be trumpeters announcing their presence. Oh, there he is. There he is. Open water. Water. In the open water right over there. And then it happens. The rare moment we've come all this way for. Behind that pack of ice over there. 